page 54, thumbs on C. This is the first piece in Unit 5. I want to suggest to you, and it's up to you, that if you've made it this far and you're starting to get confused and you're kind of struggling, this is the point where I really encourage you to go back to whatever the beginning was on the first video I did, I don't remember which page it is, and go through it all again, to review it all again. Don't be in a hurry to get through the book. Please, take your time on this and make sure you really understand what's going on. And you know the names of all these terms and all these notes and everything we're doing. Because it's just going to get more challenging as we go. Now, in Unit 5 and in this piece, we're introducing a new hand position. Because we've been in C position in the past. And this position is called middle C position, and it is because the thumbs share middle C. So you, the, the hands are here and the thumbs are here, and that's the position. It's called middle C position. Now, a key isn't big enough on the piano for two fingers, at least not my fingers. And you don't need two fingers to push a note down. So what happens is it's sort of a timeshare thing where one hand or the other will play the C. They take whichever, and the other one gets out of the way. So whichever. And that's the way it works. Now, in order for this to work, you need to learn a couple new notes for the left hand, the A and the B. So if you don't know where they are on the keyboard, it's time to learn. The A is in the upper middle of a group of three. A, 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 A. The A we're talking about here is the top line of the bass clef. It's this A. It's right below middle C. Then the B is at the top of a group of three. B, 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 B. And the B we want here is right above the staff and right here. It's right below middle C. Because middle C is that note with the line through it. Here. For the left hand, for the bass clef. Not necessarily for the left hand, but for the bass clef, it's here. See, in the treble clef, look at the second line here on thumbs on C. In the second measure, those are middle Cs. But it's in a line right below the treble clef. And the bass clef, it's in a line right above it. It's the same note. So, we got thumbs on C. It's two lines long. There's a repeat sign. We're going to play it twice. You get your notes here and make sure you know the names of these notes. Say it if you have to. Say the names and notes, play them and say them, and then go through and do the counting. It's four, four time, four beats in a major, quarter note gets a count. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The left hand's playing the first line, the right hand's playing the second. You go through all that. It's medium loud, whatever that is, you'll decide to sort of loud. And it says moderately slow. Well, we're back to moderately slow again. It's about what I'm doing in the play with me on that. So you go through and learn it, and then when you think you've got it, come back and pl do a play with me with me. With me with... Uh, play it with me. To make sure that you got, you got all the notes at the right time and so forth. I'll give us four counts. Let's try this out. One... Two, ready, go. Four. Three, four. 